The bathrooms will be upgraded at Wrigley, except for something that shy men have complained about for years. Speaking of Wrigley, Cubs pitcher Ryan Dempster will be here in the studio next. How you can meet him, eat some pizza, and help a charity all at the same time. That's a good day. That's a very good day. Time right now is 9:23. The stainless steel troughs at uh, at Wrigley will remain untouched, <laughs> despite all the renovations. Yes, you know, during the off season, the Cubs. Isn't it funny that this is the thing we focus on? During the off season, the Cubs are redoing the restrooms at Wrigley, but apparently not the urinals. They're, they're not going to be replaced. No word on exactly why they're being left out of the upgrade. Uh, but we all know that it moves things along quickly when the lines are getting long there. Um, the uh, Ricketts family has opened his checkbook to make over the friendly confines. Those changes will be completed in the next five years. And now that we've got, we started off on that note, <laughs> let's move it up a, a notch and bring in some special guests right now with Lou. Hey, Lou. Well, let's make sure. Are you all right with the Johns over at Wrigley Field? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're actually better than the ones in our clubhouse. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like the winter meetings, guys, to get the baseball talk going. And Cubs pitcher Ryan Dempster, nice enough to join us here. And we're going to talk about a fundraiser that he's putting on on Thursday with his wife in just a second. But I need to ask you about... Jim Hendry's inability to trade Milton Bradley at the winter meetings the last few days, you've actually said you'd have no problem if Milton was brought back, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, it's one of those things where um, I think if he is going to trade him, that it has to be the right deal. He's not just going to give him away or sit there and eat a whole bunch of the contract just to, uh, just to make a trade. And I think um, as teammates, we all go through tough times during the year. And I think uh, what makes a good, a good teammate is somebody who's willing to accept somebody back and and uh, and step forward and, and, and move in the right direction. I think if Milton came back and was on our team, that that's what you have to do. You have to you have to you know kind of forgive and forget and, and go out there and try and play as well as you can and try and try and compete for a championship. You know, Lou Pinella is moving into the last year of his contract, and there's going to be all this talk about Lou now being a distraction this season. Do you think he'll be a distraction, <laughs> Lou? No <laughs> way. He's uh, he's t he's too funny. He um, you know I've really enjoyed playing for Lou um, and, and pitching for him. It's been uh, it's been a real treat, and um, he's a, uh, a guy that's full of a lot of knowledge. Uh, he knows a lot about the game, and if you sit there and you talk to him, you, you really learn a lot. And uh, he's, he's definitely got some entertaining antics when he's out there. Uh, you know, his seven-minute walk to the mound and things like that. But um, You think he wants to come back? <clears throat> I think so. I think, uh, I mean, who wouldn't? I, I love playing here, and I, I can imagine managing here is just as so much fun. All right, let's talk about a much more serious matter, and that's a disorder that your daughter Riley is suffering with right now, and it's called DeGeorge Syndrome, and you and your wife Jenny have started a foundation. Yeah, um, she was born, uh, it's a, uh, a, chromos a partial chromo uh, chromosome deletion, um, uh, the 22nd chromosome, and um, it's actually what leads to uh, uh, the George syndrome. And uh, Riley's biggest issue is she can't swallow. She has no, uh, no motility in her esophagus, so uh, she has a feeding tube and she has a trach. And, um, you know, it's kind of a, it's been a, a learning process for us. And we start up a foundation to help uh, raise not only uh, money for, for our own foundation, but really general awareness. There's not a lot of people who know a lot about it. Um, and uh, we're going to have our first fundraiser uh, next Thursday. Well, actually, six days from now. So um, it's going to be at the Augustinos uh, in Southport and Addison. And it's, uh, it's going to be a, a lot of fun. It'll be a great event. The, uh, you know, the family over there is, has really um, responded well to helping us and uh, you know, the people at MyWrigleyVille.com. Um, it's where you can actually buy your tickets. Uh, you know, it's $100 a ticket, um, $50 for kids 12 and under, and there's going to be a lot of prizes. We're going to do a trivia night and, and uh, do a, a raffle prizes and some silent auction things and anything from Cubs tickets to, to Bears tickets and Bulls tickets and Blackhawk tickets and, and all kinds of uh, great prizes and, and, and a chance for fans to interact and, and show them how much I appreciate and give and say thank you to them. All right, great. Again, it's next Thursday night, December 17th at D'Agostino's on Southport and Addison, 6 o'clock. For tickets, again, visit MyWrigleyVille.com or you can also go to our website, MyFoxChicago.com. Thanks for coming on out. Yeah, thanks, Luke. All right, Ryan.